everybody, Kirk Jungin here from LearningGolf.tv. Today talking about the best golf swing you could learn. And it's the best golf swing to me if it's simple, easy to learn, easy to repeat, if it improves your consistency and gives you more distance and it's something that helps you very quickly. So my goal in teaching is not to get somebody to sign up for endless lessons for the rest of their lives. My goal is if they come to me for a lesson or come to my schools, my goal is that they improve immediately and as fast as possible. Some people do take a little bit longer than others, but the goal is we need to be moving forward, improving rapidly, and if we're following the right steps, that's not gonna be very difficult in my opinion. I have taught a simpler single plane golf swing for many years now. I call it setup for impact golf. And you see me here hitting a few shots and basically what I'm doing is I'm setting up on my impact plane. You can see my hands are a little bit higher than what you're normally used to seeing. My distance from the ball is about the same. I know some people in the past did the natural golf swing or tried to copy Mo Norman, uh, which I did myself. Uh, but simply the distance from the ball was the biggest turnoff and basically it caused inconsistencies and loss of distance in many people, including myself. I'm set up fairly close to the ball like Bryson DeChambeau and it's much easier to return through impact setup here and set up with my hands and club on the same plane they're gonna be on through impact. And simply learning to do this is not so complicated. So I'm gonna show you a few steps that you need to go through when you're trying to implement this. So the main points to follow here are simply learning to put the hands on the golf club in the proper position. You can check out my complete learning guide for the single plane golf swing. It's here on my YouTube channel and basically I go through a routine getting set up. But the main point is learning to put this trailing arm on in the position so that it's on the same plane as the golf club which is here and not here. You can see that would be a different plane with the golf club and the trailing arm. So it's on the same plane. It's not that hard to do if you can look in a mirror when you're getting set up or set up a camera and check it out. It's really basically going from here to here and rotating the trailing arm a little bit under the golf club, basically supinating in this direction, away from the target, so it's on there. Relax the arms, relax at the elbow, so the elbow's bent in towards the hip. Now once we get set up there, so that trailing arm is in a non-rotational position, then all we're going to do uh, is for most of you just make a golf swing and get used to that setup. So a little, it takes a little bit of effort to get used to it, Many of you have been doing this basically because of the setup here and the club is basically going to lengthen at impact because of this straightening with the trail on, trailing arm. Uh, so because of the straightening with the trailing arm, you're forced to be pulling away as you're hitting the golf shot. And that's why advice like keep your head down doesn't work because if you do keep your head down, you end up throwing the club into the ground. If you're one of the lucky ones that learned at five years old like Rory McIlroy, and Tiger Woods, even younger than that, uh, you learn to develop the timing necessary to make that move. Most of us aren't that fortunate, and so getting set up like this, I've seen it help thousands of golfers just getting set up on your impact plane, and then it's about learning to make some swings and being able to contact the ground in the proper spot, which is after the ball. So I'll have you do this once we get the setup correct, and I'm always checking my grip, make sure that fits. And once we're getting set up, then I'll just make some short swings like this. And you should see that the ball's flying pretty straight there. And in many cases, and in the schools, we'll actually start hitting just really short shots. It's basically ball striking grill number one, which you'll find here on my YouTube channel under complete learning system for the single plane golf swing. It's on my channel and I think it's green. So you'll see a green background there and it should be pretty easy to find if you search on my channel. So once you get that used to the setup, it's basically turn back, turn through, and it's that easy to hit great golf shots. Get started simplifying your golf game. My channel here is dedicated to simplifying the golf swing I'm here to help you. I'm giving you all my information for free. And please check it out. 
put in comments. Uh, if you have any comments or questions for me, put them in the box below. I look forward to helping you improve your golf game.